overflows. Human body is the bridge. Your body is the bridge. If the body is dead, you cannot do anything. Can you do anything without the body? No, you cannot without the body. In this state, where you feel the body has become a dead weight, you can cut off from that, from the world of activity easily. Body means activity. That which is, this is suggested, you can now become inactive because you are dead. Now you can feel that everything has died and the bridge from you to the world is broken. Any activity is possible only through the body. Mind can think about it but cannot do it. You have become impotent. You cannot do anything. You are inside. The world is outside. The vehicle is dead and the bridge is broken. In this state of the body being dead and the bridge being broken, your energy will start moving inward. Being because there is no way to move out. The outer way is closed and blocked. So now you move inwards. See yourself standing at the heart center. Look within at the details of the body. You will feel a very you will feel very strange when for the first time you can look from within your own body. Tantra, Yoga, Ayurveda, all the old physiologies, all the old physiological doctrines, their work has revealed and made known through such inner meditative techniques. Modern physiology is known through dissection, but ancient physiology was known through meditation, not dissection. And now there is a school, a school of very avant grand garde medical thinkers who say that when you dissect a body, and you come to know something, you come to know something which is dead. And whatsoever is inferred from a dead part is irrelevant to the live body. They may be right. If you take my blood out and then examine it, you are examining the dead blood. It is not the same blood that was flowing in me. Outwardly, it is same, but in me, it was a life, a life process, a life current, a life, part of a mechanism of an organic whole. Now, this is dead. It is as if you pull my eyes and then examine them. When they were with me, I was behind them and in them. Now they are dead stones and whatsoever you come to know about these eyes is not about my eyes. Because the basic essential part is missing, I am not there. Those eyes were part of a big hole. Their whole quality consisted of being part of the big hole. Now they are independent, not part of anything. They, the pattern is lost. The life contact is lost. All the traditions of yoga and tantra 
see that unless you can come to know the living body, your knowledge is false. But how to come to know this living body? There is only one way. You enter yourself and move within to see the details of the body. A different world was revealed through these techniques and a live world. So the first thing to remember, be centered at the heart and look around at the body. Move. Two things will happen. One, you will not feel now that you are the body. You cannot feel it. You are the observer, one who is aware, alert, looking at, not being looked at. For the first time the body will become just a closing and you will be different from it. And the second thing, immediately you will feel, I cannot die. This will seem strange using a method, an imaginary method of death and then coming to the deathless point, you will come to know suddenly, I cannot die. You have seen others who have died, what happened to them? Their bodies became dead, that is why you inferred that they, are, they were dead. Now you can see the whole body is lying dead and you are still alive. So bodily death is not your death. The body dies and you move on. And if you persist in this technique, the time is not very far when you will come out of your body and look at your body from without, at your body lying dead just before you. It is not very difficult. Once you experience this, you will never be the same person again. You will be reborn. You will be, you will become Dwij. This is the Sanskrit word meaning twice born. Now you, now a new life starts. Death can be used for deep meditation because then you become inactive. Energy is released from the world. It can move inwards. That is why a death-like posture is suggested. Use life use death for discovering that which is beyond both. Conscious living requires intent, focus and dedication certainly is the way to inner growth and transformation. And finally, life of harmony, bliss and oneness path of personal growth is indeed an ongoing process is spread across the entire lifetime. Miracles happen when you learn to just be in the process of knowing who you are because this knowing who you are indeed is a systematic process move with the hypothesis and go on deleting the layers upon layers that you think define you and in the end you reach to the core of formless space. This formless space is you. Along the path you go through various states and stages of development as you move through layers of consciousness. 
you process your emotions and reasons for doing what you do instead of going through life unaware. In the process of living, you seldom take responsibility for your thoughts, words and actions. You can insist on being pathologically honest with yourself. This leads to nowhere and you are left with a limited span of life left to be here on this earth while the wheel of time goes on moving too swiftly you have to do the most you may before frigid claws of death descend to seal your humble fate therefore learn to act as if what you choose makes a difference because it does enough for now.